I think there's a cog in that flying fish, just like the one Grandad needs. It's stuck! Poor thing! Shouldn't be a problem with the right tool. There you are, a 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. Hmm, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Fly! Oh, maybe it was important. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will burn. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale. Dwarven ale? <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterpeak? The volcanic eruption. Ha ha ha! Volcanic eruption! Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah well, some so-and-so cocked up and BOOM! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing! After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? As a one-legged duck swim in a circle, of course I know. I'm the master brewer. It's not difficult either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course mill it, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using a decoction procedure. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Stop! What? We're just getting to the exciting part! I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale is nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a wee taste of it again. No, oh, but it's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself? Aye. It's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay, what do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hops and some barley for malting. But that's... That, that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope! Water, hops, and malt. 
then there's just a few secret ingredients and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances and uh, a couple of E numbers. Uh, but I've already got them here. Okay, water, hops, and barley. I'll get them. Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. I've not enough left. I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. There's something in there. Something round. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. It's a single hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. It'll take a long time for the icicle to melt. After all, the pot isn't all that warm. I should speed up the melting process. It shouldn't take long to melt the icicle, the stove is still warm. The icicle is gone. All that's left is crystal clear water. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. I've got some hops for the ale. <laughs> oh, no, my lad. That's not enough. I need more hops. A proper handful. But I, I can't find any more. Oh, well, that's it as far as the dwarven ale's concerned. But you can plant the hops. You'll have enough next year. <laughs> I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Aye, that water's very good. We can use this. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll plant the hop in the soil. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Wow! Good fertilizer, that. Nah. Wow! A huge hop plant with tons of corns. I've picked about 10 corns. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. kitchen. Hmm, there's still some grain in the funnel. Barley, I think. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Ho, ho, that's enough. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. No. Well, only indirectly. Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Not the best, but it'll have to do. And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> right, it's all go now then. 
Laddie, just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening. Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. Uh, Not everybody's born for having adventures, my lad. But... Maybe you really do need to get out of here. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, intelligent old dwarf. (laughs) But that can't go on forever, can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just a sea stone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. And down we go. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad? Yes, report back. Here's the Dwarven Ale, Grandad. My goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed! Here's the cog, Grandad. I had to break my flying fish for that. War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero. One of our best. We will honour his memory. Now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Take off? That's what you meant by take off. Absolutely. I've aimed her at the town of the humans. Betsy too was, of course, designed to shoot grenades. But I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there too. Confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I I didn't think... Too slow, my boy. Fire! Good luck. He still hasn't told us, Mother. He will. Who else knows about it? The Archmage won't know about it yet. We were able to intercept the servant, as you know. But... But? An elf, Mother. 
she tried to free MacGuffin, she might know something. She needs to be watched. Very well. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. Oh. Oh well. No problem. I am an elf. And I'm fit. What now? I'll get the book out of MacGuffin's secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. No, they were all gone when I got there. They collected the cage and were off. Now it's up to us to get the book. Of course I don't have to, but... Well, what else am I going to do? It appears to be very important. And even if it isn't important, those shady fellows want to have that book. It's better that we get it out of the cellar before they get their grubby mitts on it. Then don't help me. Why don't you just fly home? Just don't tell my parents anything. Ungrateful feathered fowl. <laughs> <laughs>